Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going to be trying to speedrun the 21 challenge with 3.0 Expo. So I'm going to head straight into the first game since this is going to take a while. I was going to, like I was debating starting at 10 wins and then just recording from there, but I know a lot of you guys like to see the entire like process going from zero wins. So that's what I decided to do here. So yeah, I'm just going to, if you want to sit back, relax, it's going to be a pretty long video, probably over an hour. I don't know how long it's going to take to get 20 wins. I mean, it kind of has to be over an hour because there's wait times, and then even if all the games are three minutes, that's still 60 minutes. So, yeah, the first matches, I don't need to focus, like, as much, so I can probably commentate better, since these people, like, are usually only 5 or 6k players, so they're not the best. And we do get an early expo lock here. Uh, 3.0 is not, like, that good in the meta right now, but I decided to use it anyways because it's, like, one of the only decks I know how to play. So if you like are really good at one deck and you one trick that on ladder, then I would suggest using that in the 21 challenge. It's probably what you all have the best shot with is what you're most comfortable with, which I know a lot of you guys do like to play Expo as well. So let's see here. He's not going to play anything. Might as well just go Expo. So he goes a Magic Archer. Oh, that's fine. We should be able to get a lot of damage here because yeah, I seem to like let it lock on for no reason since that's like a very common play when they are not the best opponents just letting your expo lock take half the tower and wow wait did my skeleton just like vanish there <laughs> i thought they were gonna distract at least like one shot from the magic archer but they just got completely obliterated <laughs> i think that was kind of funny all right let's go split archers in the back and yeah these matches might be not the most exciting because it's gonna be like defending their random pushes and stuff that they decide to make but hopefully once we get around like 10 wins or so We'll start facing more like meta decks and stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to get bad matchups, but it's also good to like, if you guys want to learn how to play against the bad matchups. So I kind of hope I don't get carried by like facing Pekka and Lava every game. That wouldn't be like the best, in my opinion, because I'm trying to get some good content out to you guys. Let's go Tesla up high, see what he does. It's like a log. I'm gonna go Expo on this side. If they ever go Drill, you kind of just want to like spam the other lane, because. Oftentimes they'll be like really greedy and just try to fireball with the drill. It's you know, like the drill fireball is just a broken combo. Gets them unlimited damage, so even if you take some damage from their goblin drills, and this applies to like most drill decks, this one's kind of like an off meta one, but yeah, you kind of want to go opposite lane and then just like spam them and hope they fireball on the tower like the same time you expo. And that's often how you can win the matchup really early on. So he's going to go opposite lane with Tesla, then skeletons, log that. Go Expo. I guess like it's not like a global tournament, so it doesn't necessarily matter if you get more crowns or not. Since like there's no, yeah, there's really no reason you'd want to get more crowns just if you get 20 wins or not. So there we go, GG for the first game. Um, also you can probably see like I collected a lot of the rewards already. That's because I did get to 17 wins, but I ended up losing. I actually had a really good matchup and I still like ended up losing that, so I'm kind of salty. I have to like restart the video. I mean, I probably could have like still like posted a 17 win but i kind of really want to get 20 and i post it and i woke up like i woke up really early like 4 a.m or something to start playing and i've gotten through like three attempts so far i think i got like 12 and 17 and i did really bad like my first time but let's see hopefully we get the 20 i just really want to get 20 wins like early because you kind of want to get it on the first day at least if you're a content creator it's the best since you get to upload it early and everyone gets to see it and then try out the deck for themselves. Yeah, I think it was Skelly Bro. Don't know what this is gonna be. I, mean, I should probably stop stop trying to like predict their decks this early on because it's always gonna be off meta stuff. Although sometimes like the, the only bad thing about playing the twenty one challenge like right when it starts is because all the pros are sweating like tryharding to get the the first like person to get twenty wins. I mean, at this point, it's past that, but. Yeah, like, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, a bunch of people who just, like, are casuals and they just played it right when it started. Just face, like, oh, Mohammed Light or Morton in the first game. Because, like, all the pros are just going to do it immediately to try and be the first. So they can get that that Twitter clout. Okay, so he's going to have Giant Skelly Candy Cart. Dude, that actually is not going to be a fun matchup. Um, I, I can probably still win because he doesn't know what he's doing, most likely, but... Yeah, it's so kind of annoying how we get bad matchups to start. Well, I actually don't mind it, because, like, I'm going to win it, but at least I'm not going to 
get bored just like facing these random stuff that I hard counter probably. So probably just go split archers the back when I hit 10. And I could expo because it's almost double, but let's see what he does. We're probably down some elixirs since he did play that Skelly bro and we were at like 7. So let's go fireball on his E-drag. I don't know why he's playing it behind his tower with lower HP. It just gives me free value. There's a giant skeleton. We'll cycle our knight. He's in a candy cart. Let's go log. Wait, do you have a, does he have a clone? I kind of forget if he played a clone or not. Oh, he did. I always forget this stuff. And you guys like say in the comments, like the timestamp that they play it and the timestamp that I ask if they even have that card. Now I'm going to go with Tesla over here for the skeleton barrel. I just need E-drag in the back. Yeah, I don't know why he keeps really doing that. Should I fireball that? I probably will. Like, honestly. I feel like there's no way we're going to get an expo lock at this point. So this might just be a boring 5-minute game. So he's like, he's going to go candy card, giant skeleton, E-drag on my expos. Like, I probably can't get a lock at this point. But there's also, like, no way he gets damage. Since I just, like, Tesla. He's going to kill all the skeletons and stuff on the map. Like, I thought the thing was gonna hit the firecracker but it didn't so we probably don't get the king activation unless i got lucky all right yeah no king activation so let's go nine on defense and just rinse and repeat here he's gonna do the same thing over and over so just try to not choke at two wins or like one win in the challenge it's like my log for his firecracker and it's a giant skelly bomb and almost a triple elixir that's when we gotta like be really careful though because He's like spam decks, you can often choke them, like choke these games if it's triple elixir and you don't defend it perfectly. So this is Skelly Barrel, probably just log this and maybe fireball if he stacks a bunch of stuff over there with the cannon cart, but I don't know if he's going to do that. You know, Ice Bear back, Sickler Knight in the corner. Yeah, this is a good fireball I think. He's going to do the firecracker over there which is going to get some damage on my tower, but we're still up like so much that I feel like we're just going to win regardless um if he does get like some damage because yeah we have his tower down to under a thousand hp oh yep yeah, there's a clone Ooh, he's gonna clone everything that's actually kind of scary but i think i have to wait like an extra second on the log because then that clone skeleton barrel would have done a lot of work so i'm gonna set up with a defensive expo and he doesn't have a big spell for it so kind of gets infinite value in this matchup so i'm gonna go archers over here i don't want the e-drag to chain onto them so okay i actually mess up the ice spirit Let's go test the right on top now, just to make sure like both skeleton barrels drop into that. And okay, I actually messed up my expo. I was trying to place it, but the giant skeleton bomb like pushed my expo away. So <laughs> yeah, we definitely it's not gonna do too much for us. I mean, it still kind of acts as a defensive expo, so I guess it wasn't even the worst play. And it kind of blocks the lane for his skeleton barrels. So yeah, we're gonna pretend that was definitely calculated placement. But it looks like our opponent is gonna give up here. I said another pretty easy game to start off. Um, I think I'm not even sure when like the players start to get like top ladder in this sort of game mode. Probably like 10 15 wings will face at least people that have meta decks. So that yeah, just heads straight into the next game here. Gonna be against Delorean MC from Clan of Mantis. So I'm gonna go Ice Spirit at the bridge to start off, see if he takes the damage or not. He's gonna go E Spirit. Alright, let's cycle our archers in the back here, and kind of wait. Don't want to do anything too hasty. Oh, uh, he's gonna firecracker. I mean, I could take the king activation, but I just want to get some early fireball damage, because why not? Okay, yes, 3M. Uh, yeah, this matchup, like, thing is, you're always gonna take damage in single against 3 Musketeers, but once you get into, like, the groove of things, if that makes sense, then they're, like, not gonna be able to break through. Because you can just like play Clash of Clans the whole time and put Expos and Teslas on your side and just like try to stack buildings and eventually like they don't have a big spell so they're just getting overwhelmed. You can set up for another offensive Expo and usually win that way. So maybe Archer's in the back. I don't know why he has a Goblin Hunt in this deck. It's kind of weird. I wouldn't be surprised if he has like a Mega Knight too to be honest. Like this is the type of deck that would have some- okay yeah I was- yeah, definitely knew what he was playing all along. There's the typical Mega Knight Goblin Hunt 3M deck. Oh, dude, that's so ace. He's gonna mirror the Barbaro. So, like, my spirit just dies, and then he kills my Expo. And I'm gonna take a crap ton of damage, because I don't have enough Elixir to play my Knight yet. So, yeah, that was not the best start at all. 
And he's also gonna get some damage from his firecracker. See, I gotta find a way to come back. I mean, I probably can come back if I just, like, outcycle his Mega Knight one time. Because I feel like he doesn't have too many, like, mini tanks in the deck. Okay, there's the Goblin Hut. That was not a 10 elixir hut, so I'm gonna go Expo. He's gonna kill it, and then I can just, like, play Skeletons on whatever he uses to defend my Expo. And he doesn't have, like, a Mega Knight in hand. So let's go Skellies. Okay, there's the Mirror Barrel. of Bard Barrel. Dude, how did I kill my Expo? Alright, that was insane. I actually have to focus now because I don't want to restart the video. I mean, typically my rule is, like, if I get one loss before, like, five or six wins, I'm just gonna, like, throw the next two games so I can restart. Like, if I'm, like, eight and one, that's fine, I guess. Like, I'll still probably continue. Maybe even seven and one, but if I lose, like, in the first five, six games, I'm just throwing the next two matches because you really need those extra losses when it gets to, like, the very end. And you're, like, struggling at, like, 15 and 2, 16 and 2, <laughs> and just, like, trying to get the 20. Also, like, you get kind of anxious when you're at two losses for a long time. So you need to, like, really try not to lose early on if you're trying to go for the 20. And I know it's easier said than done, but it's, like, pretty important. So, just for you, like, mentally, I guess. So there's a firecracker and the queen. Yeah, I think we win here because he doesn't have any elixir and... My log's gonna kill his queen, he can just protect the expo here. And he's gonna mirror the barbaro, but we just go archers on top. And, yeah, we got a lot of damage there. He's gonna play something, so I'm gonna expo the middle. Yeah, I knew he would do something like that, so we wouldn't have enough to go Mega Knight now. So I'm gonna log his queen. Okay, the queen almost died, but that's kind of annoying. He's gonna go archers up high for his firecracker and the barbaro. And, okay, we got his tower down to, like, 500 HP. So he's definitely gonna go Mega Knight, probably in front of that. Okay, no he's not. Oh, he actually plays like Goblin Hut like this late. That's fine because I can just snipe it with my Expo. And it's also gonna help out against like his Mega Knight and like all the stuff he spams into it. So let's see, I'm gonna go Tesla high so we can hit the Firecracker. I'm fine taking a bit of damage because like, I just wanna be able to defend here and then set up for an Office of Expo maybe. Like he's gonna go Queen, so maybe not the best time to Expo. I mean, we have his tower down to two fireballs, and I don't know why he's going Goblin Hunt when he's, like, in this much of a pinch. Like, I could just fireball twice, and he's gonna lose. So, probably Mega Knight's on top. Yeah, I'm gonna go with fireball now, and then try to cycle back ASAP. I think Log, yeah, after the Log got nerfed, it does, like, 50-something damage, like, 56 damage, I think, at tournament standard. So, definitely couldn't Log there to finish off the match. So there we go, that is going to put us at, I believe, 3 wins. Let's just head straight on into the next game. Alright, so we're facing Lauka here from the Clan Exodus, and I'm going to single Ice Spirit in the back to start things off. I'm also probably going to cut the search times if it takes more than a few seconds, because I know that can be kind of irritating if you don't want to have to like skip ahead in the video. Um, but yeah, that, I'm probably going to skip like that search time and probably some of the others. So trust me, it's the same, still the same 21 challenge if I make a cut in the video, like every every now and then at the end of the games. So he's going to go Ice Golem in the back and go Split Archers. Hmm, he doesn't have Ice Spirit too. So let's see, probably some like Hog Cycle, I don't know. Let's go Knight in front here, and he's going to Wizard in the back. Okay, why, why does he have a Wizard? It's actually such a bad card, but... So many mid ladder players use it, and I know it can be like pretty frustrating to face, but that's usually if it's over leveled, which luckily is everything's level 11 in this game mode. So I'm gonna go Tesla, he's gonna have a hog cycle deck with Wizard, Ice Golem. Yeah, it should be an easy win, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why he has too many tanks, that's like kind of a weird, a weird deck pick. He has like too many tanks in the deck, usually you would have either the Knight or the Ice Golem, but he has both of them for some reason. So very odd. I'm gonna go split archers in the back. I gotta take the ice spear damage because I don't wanna have to use my log on that. But he's gonna go hog. That's a pretty smart hog though because I wasn't even cycling back to my Tesla yet. I don't know if he knew that or if he was just like spamming like all the 2.6 players do. Like the, the first chance he has to get his hog on tower. But I yeah, highly doubt he like was actually counting my cards. Um, but maybe he was. He just like a god or something. Never know. So I'm gonna go skeletons up high for his knight. Go archers in the back. Also in this challenge, there's like so many people that are playing on their second accounts. So 
So it's hard to tell based on the the badges on their profile. Cause like I think at the start of the game, you know how it shows like their their badges and all of that. If they're on like a mini account, then they might not have any. So you can't like underestimate anyone. Like they might be a really good player. Might be Muhammad Light's alt account. You just, you just don't know it. So let's go archers. I don't know why he went hog there, because I still had a 1 HP Tesla that's pretty much gonna prevent all the damage. At least my archers can clean everything up. So I'm gonna go Ice Spirit now. Let's go with Tesla in the middle here. I think we'll log. Um, so not really anything too crazy happening yet. Probably gonna start going for some offensive expos once he like once we have like a like a solid defense off, maybe have like two expos on the map, gonna find a chance to go in. So let's place a knight here for his hog. And come on, expo survives, so yeah. I think this is gonna be our time to go offensive now. He's gonna cycle log at the same time, which is annoying because it takes like a bunch of the HP off our expo. Um, you fireball the wizard and then just ice spirit here and yeah, I don't think we're gonna get any damage Especially because the wizard's gonna just like one shot our skeletons and wipe them out So he's no ice spirit dies to my expo We are up a lot of damage and he doesn't really have a good way to get a bunch of damage at once because He might get like a hog hit every now and then if we make some mistakes, but it's not like he can just win in one push So we are looking really solid right now Going into triple elixir pretty soon so let's go with my log just to finish off his wizard there. Make him spend something on that one archer. That's on like zero HP. Uh, so we're gonna go knight. Probably he's gonna set up for another hog push, so he's like spamming all his mini tanks in front of that. But the hog still goes like in front of them. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, he's gonna ice golem. He's probably cycling back to hog right now, so had to be somewhat careful. Okay, he he outcycled me, but he made a fatal mistake by not waiting until all of my three archers were dead so yeah i think he's just like giving up now because he knows there's like no way to break through especially when he's making kind of odd plays like that so there we go expo it takes the tower it's gonna put us at four wins i think and zero losses yep there we go four no let's go right into the next one uh, gonna be against salka here so he's an interesting profile he has um i think he had skeleton army and e-spirit i could be wrong about the skeleton army but yeah, those are the badges he has on his profile. I mean, a lot of people, they'll just, like, put what deck they have as their like, their badges that they show to the opponent, which I think is a pretty bad thing to do, because you don't really want to let your opponent know what you're using, like, at the beginning of the game, because then they might gain some sort of advantage from that. That's why I don't put, like, Expo as my profile badge or whatever. So I'm going to go with Log. Oh, dude, this is, um, I'm going to lose this game, because... We can't like win this matchup. His deck has a golden knight. Like everyone's running this like recruit golden knight deck. At least like every time I face recruits, it's the same variant. And he has the arrows one. So this is like impossible to win, especially if he has the golden knight, which I think it does. Um, so that's gonna be kind of sad if I lose out my first game at four wins. But even if I do lose, I'm still probably gonna continue because I don't know. I'm feeling I'm still feeling kind of good about the start of the video I think we had some like some solid games because even though they were like off meta decks they weren't insanely easy matchups it's like players doing the exact wrong thing at every moment so i still might continue on the video if i lose this but getting ahead of ourselves here let's just try to focus as well as we can maybe take advantage of any of his mistakes and try to get an expo lock so there's the flying machine um, so I'm gonna wait till that crosses, and then just go with my archers up high on that, so it dies, and then it's probably gonna set up with the recruits pretty soon. So I place them in the back, because it's not a good play for me to expo the same lane when he does the recruits. Uh, especially when he has, like, a, a zappies or a cage that he can just play. I pretty much have to sit back and just defend the whole game. This is not really one of those matchups where you're trying to really get an expo lock. Also, I don't know why I logged the right side, that's really dumb of me. It kind of wasn't looking, and I saw that we had so much more damage on the left side, right after I threw the log. Yeah, this is a matchup, you can't get an expo log. I'm actually surprised that Gold Knight did not dash on my tower. It seems like something it would do. So yeah, we're just defending the entire time, and then trying to win off of logs, and then... Usually in Triple Elixir, you have time to throw like, two or three fireballs, but... It's also a matchup where you don't, you can't fireball cycle that much, because... 
Of course, you're facing fireball bait, so you're gonna punish you pretty hard if you fireball. It's not like RG where you're defending, but also fireball cycling. This one's like literally only log cycling. That's like your main way of getting damage. You just log cycle. And at the very end, you can maybe fireball if you get a good defense off. Because you need to be in triple bits here to be able to like defend other stuff and fireball and tower at some point. It's like a Tesla in the middle. Okay, I gotta kill his flying machine. ASAP. You couldn't use the Gold Knight ability, it's gonna shred through everything I have. And I think we're kinda dead. He's gonna go real hogs, so I have no elixir. I'm gonna go fireball. Please hit all of them. Okay, we did. And yeah, he's taking a ton of damage. This is one of those matchups also where the fireball nerf is actually very noticeable. Because if you fireball the real hogs, it's not gonna push them back as much as they used to. So you get like a couple hundred more damage every time. Which is actually kind of insane. There's basically raw hogs and balloon on the two matchups where the fireball nerf is like really affects the matchup. So he's gonna go recruit in the back. I'm gonna go log on the left side this time since we have a pretty more damage over there. I mean we're still not totally out of it, but it's also like how can we win and also how can we get damage without having to use our fireball? Because he's gonna have recruits in hand every time we try to expo, and it's not gonna do anything. Or he'll just like cage in the middle and cycle back to them. So I'm gonna go Ice Spear on his flying machine. And hopefully my one archer. Okay, it's not actually the tower's not targeting the flying machine. Oh yeah, that seals the deal. I actually didn't even know we missed the timing on that night, so yeah, this is no way we can win now. Dude, this actually is so uh, I didn't think I was gonna lose this early on. I think we gotta continue the video though. I'm feeling it. We, we gotta go on. If I lose another game before like 10 wins though. Probably will end it, so you might not even be watching this. So I'm gonna go Ice Spirit to the side for Golden Knight. I don't know why I'm trying to commentate because like 20 seconds left and we're down a thousand damage. So I'm gonna go Knight in front, and he's gonna go recruit on the bridge. He's gonna go Archer and the Ice Spirit, and we'll log the right side. But it's not gonna matter because do you guys like the mirror in the deck also makes it kind of like difficult because he can mirror the Goblin Cage. Yeah, look at that. He has three cages on the map right now. Like. <laughs> What are we supposed to do to that? Wow, okay, um, yeah, GG, I guess. He had, a, like, a 100 no matchup, but he's still well played to this guy. Credit where credit is due. He won fair and square, and, yeah, we're just gonna continue to move on. So, we're gonna be against LOL Gamer from CMC Blizzard. Uh, let's go ahead and take a little skeletons in the back here to start off, because it's, like, the cheapest card in rotation, so might as well. He's gonna give us a good luck. Cycles a knight in the back and has a bomb tower, so yeah, it has to be log bait. And as I'm saying that, I logged. Um, I probably should have not logged that because he's gonna go barrel. But I think it's fine because I can wait for the knight to walk up. Since I'm pretty sure, yeah, I knew he'd gone barrel, so I could like fireball everything. And I didn't have to like pull the knight away with my ice spear or something like that. He does get like one knight hit, but it's not too big of a deal. There's a skelly barrel. All right, I don't know what variant this is gonna be. If it has like a big spell or not, but. He yeah, has a fireball, so sometimes his deck doesn't run any big spell, which is actually makes it a lot easier. I guess it's still a good matchup for me because he doesn't have a rocket, which is typically the main problem when you're facing a bait deck is the rocket. So they can just like out cycle. You're not even out cycle, you just like keep up with your cycle and rocket all the expos and just like win like that. But in this case, he doesn't have a rocket, so I should be able to win it pretty easily. Especially because his expo lock, like, he went with the horrible Dark Goblin right into my archers. So we're gonna get a really nice lock. And all he can do now is sit back and give us the well played. And hopefully he gives up so I don't have to, like, waste another minute and a half trying to defend his stuff. Because, like, he can't take my tower now. I can just save my log for his barrels and we'll win like that. But, yeah, I think he's not gonna give up. I mean, I probably wouldn't give up either because it is the 21 challenge. And, I mean, we're only at, like, five wins right now. So, he probably doesn't care too much. But, I guess he's going for the win. So, gotta respect that. We'll play it out. And, I'm just gonna go offensive expo. Try to take his tower now. And, hopefully, he just, like, doesn't defend it. I should have predicted the bomb tower. Since, like, he does the same defense on my expo every time. It's, like, bomb tower night. I mean, without a rocky, he doesn't really have too much of a choice. But, yeah, kind of predictable. I'm gonna go with the knight on top of his dark goblin. And then we can go offensive expo on the right side. Just to try to seal the deal here and take his tower. We do get the prediction uh, ice spirit for his bomb tower. Then Tesla cleans it up. 
His knight's dead, so we should be able to get a lock right now. We can go knight in front. Yeah, he's just gonna let it go and try to like tower trade, but can't really tower trade with the skeleton barrel goblin barrel push. It is a very threatening push, but not really gonna do too much for him. So I guess we'll try to take the other tower for fun, but looks like he's gonna defend it anyways, so doesn't want to lose his dignity there and get too crowned by Axe I guess, which is fine. Uh, we'll go log in the barrel, and yeah, that's gonna be a very easy win. Should put us at like 5 and 1, which I guess is not a horrible record. I'd rather be like, okay, if I get to 10 wins and don't lose a game, then I'll actually be somewhat confident that I can win or get to 20 wins or at least get somewhat close to it. But until then, like, I can't drop a game in the next like 5 matches. I mean, preferably I'd be 15 and 1 so that I have 2 opportunities to lose. But I guess just like 1 opportunity to drop a game between like 15 and 20. So he's gonna go with Skeleton King in the back, so I'm gonna expo opposite lane. Okay, I wasn't sure if it's gonna be Golem or Graveyard. It's like Skelly King, Ice Wiz. Yeah, that stuff can be in like both, but I think this is gonna be Graveyard, probably. Which is a good matchup. I mean, I'd probably rather they have like a Knight or something, or a Valk. Because Skeleton King can be quite annoying when they use the ability. Since you have to save your log for the, the Graveyard Skeletons, but sometimes if they're smart with the ability they can like bail your log and then you won't really have a good answer to their graveyard push so you have to watch out for that but it still should be like a solid matchup i think even when he does have the skeleton king so cycles and ice was in the back it's gonna be a free fireball never really want to do that if you're their graveyard player it's just to give them fireball value with their with the ice wizard in the back just asking for me to play the fireball and he's probably salty that i got a lot of damage so I'll probably go in, even though it's like not a good play for him to play like aggressively in single, but yeah, I kind of expected he'd do something like that. I'm gonna archers behind the tower, and I thought he was gonna poison my archers, but he just popped the Skelly King ability for some reason. So I don't really know what he's thinking, because I can expo, and he's not gonna have anything for it. Since he used his Skeleton King, I can just like, skeleton his Barbara when he plays it, just to make sure he catches that, and... I think we should get a lock. I'm gonna go knight in front because he's gonna ice wizard. Alright, perfect. We predicted the ice wiz. And he has zero elixir right now, so there should be tower down for sure. Really easy game against graveyard. Um, if they're like not like smart with how they play in single, then you can often like win the game right off the bat. Since if they graveyard in single, it's like the worst thing they can do. Since you just like defend it with archers. If they poison, that's just like game over because you can't defend your expo without a poison. That's like the key to this matchup if you're the graveyard player. Not to like give away the secrets, but you don't graveyard the entire game except like maybe a few times in triple elixir. All you're doing is defending for your life. That's the only thing you can do. You can't go in because like they have the, a really good defense. They can just go archers, log, and if you poison, that's an overcommit. They can just expo same time. So if you're the graveyard player, what you want to do is just like play your tanks in the middle cycle back to poisons and get the tower chip and that's like the only way you can have any chance of winning the matchup but maybe i should stop talking so if people don't like learn the correct way to play it so yeah we're gonna be a gg six wins so we're climbing up slowly but surely yeah let's just hop straight into the next game hopefully it doesn't take long to to queue yeah i probably don't need to cut that out oh yasu 2.0 Alright, he's probably has 2.6. I kind of doubt this is like the actual Oyasu. I mean, it could be, I guess. I did see on Twitter that I think he already completed the 21 challenge. So maybe he's playing on his mini account. I have no idea. Maybe I'll check after this game, but I'll probably forget. I'm just going to my log. And yeah, this is 2.6. So the classic matchup everyone loves to see. 3.0 Expo versus 2.6 Hog. Um, in my opinion, like... If it's like the best hog player versus the best expo player, then the best hog player will win. But if it's the if it's an average expo player versus an average hog player, then the expo player should win most of the time. That's just my opinion on the matchup. Because a 2.6 does have a matchup if you know how to play it. If that makes any sense. But if they don't know how to play the matchup, then it's going to be very easy for the expo player. And the way they play the matchup is you, you can't hog the expo. And double elixir especially 
you're not hogging on top of their expos like ever pretty much so what you do is you ice golem again i don't know why i'm giving away all the secrets but just something that maybe some people will benefit from not me but yeah what you want to do if you're the hog player is you want to ice golem kite or you're not kiting anything you're just playing your ice golem in the opposite lane so they can't like play a knight on it to help dps the ice golem down so you ice golem the opposite lane then you hog the opposite lane because it's going to bait out a tesla and then that way they don't have any elixir to support the expo with like a knight in front because they already spent six on the expo and then tesla is four so yeah, they're not gonna have any elixir to support the expo then that's when you just go with the cannon on it to finish it off and yeah that's a really bad musk you played it in range of his left tower so i can just get a free fireball but yeah that's essentially how you play the matchup if you're the hog player is you're going opposite lane opposite lane while they have their expos up it seems risky because you're like hey why would i want to go on offense while i have this expo to defend but it's actually a really good strategy because if they're really like not smart with how they play their stuff then they'll go the expo knight at the same time that you hog opposite lane they don't have enough for tesla and then you can often get a hog the tower like that and then just like go to the low elixir cannon on their expos and you kind of want to cycle two ice golems and if they play their expos in like the lane of the low hp tower then you don't really need a hog you can just like ice golem fireball log that should do the trick so yeah, I want the low Tesla because usually they'll go Musketeer to try to snipe it or something. Now I'm going to shove my Expo. This is a good tip for the Expo player is if you're going the same lane, you don't want them to be able to fire a log your tower and the Expo. So you can shove it all the way up high like this. And it's going to prevent them from being able to clip your Expo with the tower. So we do get the lock now. It's like a log and this should be a good game. Like if you ever get like a, a 600 damage lead, 500 damage lead, then... You should be able to win it as long as they don't get any hog hits because at that point it's just a spell cycle game and you can keep up with their cycle pretty much so yeah fireball log log is 56 so yeah that'd be sad if log didn't do enough damage after the nerf to like take a 40 hp tower so ggs to oyasu 2.0 um i'm gonna head into the next one seven and one and we're gonna be facing skadoosh from team cnc wait wasn't the guy we just faced or something like two games ago also from this clan maybe it was a similar name i'm not sure oh man don't tell me we're against 2.6 again i mean i'm all for clapping 2.6 any day of the week but two games in a row it's kind of lame <laughs> this is a kind of a boring matchup it's not an easy matchup to play though i will say if you're facing like a really good 2.6 player it's like one of the matchups where you have to sweat the entire game um because one mistake and you're just done for so i'm gonna say my tesla he's probably in a hog right now you just the one thing about this matchup is you can't get out cycled in single oftentimes you're gonna have to take like a hog hit but in my, my opinion it's not good like if you take a hog in single to try to like gain an elixir advantage it's usually not gonna work so you just want to prevent all the damage in single if possible and then oftentimes it will out cycle your tesla and sometimes like starting hand you even because they hog first play you have tesla like last card then you just gotta go expo for their hog sometimes then you just expo like at the bridge in the middle or like at the river i guess and just like to pull their hog sometimes you have to do that again it's kind of a weird play but you just don't want to let their hog get a hit and what also that helps you do is um it helps you fix your cycle because then you're gonna have tesla for their next hog and because you use your expo to defend it so you're gonna have your tesla ready for their next hog and at that point your cycle is fixed so you should be able to keep up for at least like another few rotations and then they end up outcycling your tesla again to do the same thing play your expo like in the middle of the river and that's just how you manage to prevent them from being able to outcycle you and getting a potential hog hit so i guess that's a main tip in the matchup also, you want to cycle your Teslas in the middle a lot, like, even if they don't go hog, it's good just to pre-cycle your Teslas, because then they can't go in for a hog, and while you have your Tesla on the map, and you play other cards in the back, it's going to help you cycle back to another Tesla quickly, so by the time, like, they do end up going hog, because eventually they're going to want to, then you'll be, like, back to another Tesla after, like, one more card, so you can just, like, stack Teslas, and there's not that much they can do about it. 
He actually went Fireball at like the same time I went Expo, I think. So he's kind of screwed here. Like there's not any way he can, yeah, stop all of this. So I'm gonna go Ice Spirit. Oh shoot, I should have, I should have just like predicted the cannon. That was kind of obvious he'd play it. I don't know why I waited on the Ice Spirit. So I'm gonna cycle my Tesla in the middle now. And in this Tesla placement, they can actually hog and don't bypass the Tesla. Unless like there's an Ice Golem or, or something that's gonna make the Tesla pop up first. But you can actually prevent that by playing any of your ground cards like Knight, Archers, uh, Skeleton, Ice Spirit. And you can use it to shove the hog into the Tesla. I don't know if I'll be able to show you like anything. Yeah, it's like this. Play your Skeletons. See, the hog was gonna bypass. But um, you can shove it into the Tesla like that. And it can really come in clutch since a good hog player will know that uh, that hog placement well, it's not even the correct placement like for the hog it's more just like the tesla being too low so like you can cycle your teslas up high or if you don't really want to then to prevent like a musketeer from sniping it then just like be able to shove the hog just know that interaction because it's really important so yeah gonna be against bartender here from infrs 11 to 22 weird clan name okay lob on the back will echo the same lane I like to hover my skeletons because oftentimes they have Inferno Dragon. Do I archers? Yeah, I'm gonna archers. I didn't know whether to archers or Tesla, but I probably should win Tesla because he's gonna be able to like zap those down. Unless he doesn't have zap in the deck or it's out of cycle. Um see yeah, lava should be an easy matchup unless he has like the arrows one. But I mean even with arrows, like I can still win it. Yeah, I usually like to cycle my as I was saying earlier put my like hover my skeletons at the bridge because if they go inferno drag on your expo it's actually a pretty common play they can just archers and skeletons and it'll kill the eye drag and it also force out like arrows or something so by the time their lava is crossing the bridge they don't have any elixir to support it and because they still have to kill the archers right so they won't have any elixir to like support the hound and you get a lot of damage on their tower so it's a good play and if they just like skeleton dragons there's also a good tip in the Lava matchup. If they if you expo same lane, because that's what you want to do against Lava Hound, is expo same lane. If they skeleton dragons, like first it's like the early game. In this case I might so fireball them, because it might contradict what I'm gonna say. But if they skeleton dragons, you kinda wanna archers instead of fireball. As I'm fireballing. But yeah, you kinda wanna archers instead of fireball. Because it's gonna kill the skeleton dragons and it's also gonna help out against the lava hound. Whereas Fireball will just like kill the Skelly Drags and put you down one more elixir. In this case, I did Fireball them just because like my expo. I placed it in the middle and stuff. It'd be kind of awkward if I went archers there. But yeah, typically you just want to use your archers more in this matchup than your Fireball to support your expos on offense. Uh, specifically in single elixir when like they don't have too much to, to like deal with your stuff. So I'm going to go Knight in the back and then archers behind this. He's gonna lava, and I'm thinking of lava tips because like this is gonna be easy to defend. I think I need to figure out another tip to give you guys. Um. Oh yeah. So you want to expo on like the, the inside tile in this matchup. That's pretty important, in my opinion. If you don't know what I mean by the inside tile, just like the closest to the middle of the map as possible, while also being able to hit the tower if that makes sense. So that way, um. Like, it's right here, this placement. That's, like, what I mean by the inside tile. Because if you do that, then you can set up with, like, a good Tesla placement on the opposite lane. And it's gonna allow the balloon to travel, like, all the way across the map. It'll kill your expo. Like, assuming the balloon was coming on the right side, I would be able to Tesla to make the balloon go uh, to the Tesla and then to the expo. And it does a really good job at, like, splitting up their push and just making things really easy to defend. So here we go, 9-1. and one. Starting to feel a bit more confident since you got a nice win streak going. Gonna be against this uh, like Chinese dude, I think. He's gonna Fire Spirit Bridge first play. Hopefully it's not like Rural Hogs or something since that's like an annoying matchup. Maybe he has the EQ. Alright, he's gonna Princess. Go Knight and Expo right away. Log Bait, potentially. Ah, uh, yes, Skellies and Mighty Miner. Okay, he's gonna do this. Oh man. If I place the Ice Spear one more tile to the right, I would have won the won the game right there. That's actually sad. I definitely would have won the game if that Ice Spear dropped on his cannon in the Mighty Miner. And yeah, I want to like 
I want to say Lucard's a lot in the middle in this matchup, even when I'm not at full elixir. Just because I know he's going to try to princess the bridge every opportunity that he gets, so you kind of want to prevent that. It's really bad to take princess damage and single elixir, because it can be pretty difficult to come back, like, later on. And this is annoying. I can go Axe Build, just to tank the Fire Spirit, since I, I don't want to log it, since he's playing Log Bait, so it wouldn't be the best play, obviously. And I can't, like, Fireball it or Tesla or anything. So I kind of just want to Expo, and then you'd have to commit some Elixir into it anyways. So I'm going to do this. don't know if he's going to print this or not. Um, okay, that was well played. I'm going to go Knight. Wow, that was well played on the opponent's end. Yeah, I'll give him credit for that. He played that really well. He took advantage of the fact that, like, I was pretty low on Elixir. And he just, like, he kind of outplayed me there. Um, yeah, I don't have, I don't have much to say about that, but we're going to lose this game now. Oh, he's going to barrel. He'll fireball it. Oh, if he was Princess at zero, that's going to be really smart for him. Wow, well played. Yeah, he deserves to win. Dang. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. Uh, he got our tower down to like 1700 HP there. Basically, it can be tough if they... If they get you on low elixir and single, and you're just like at zero. You're just like thirsting for elixir while they're spamming you with barrels and princesses. That's how you lose the game like I just did there. But yeah, I'm not even complaining about that. Um, because I played bad and... He played it pretty well. See, I'm gonna go fireball on this princess. Also try to win, because like, why not? But yeah, I don't really see too much of a chance here. So I'm gonna go archers and then skeletons and then we'll ice spirit as well. Uh, he's gonna use the mighty miner ability. I'm trying to say it like that. Mighty miner. Okay. Um, expo locks, I pulled the mighty miner uh, to the side with my knight. And I'll just go expo here to support it. And he's gonna, he's gonna rocket this like at some point. Like he keeps defending without rocket. Which is a bit odd. It makes me think he doesn't have a rocket or something, but he probably already played it and I just forgot. As usual. Um, okay, the expo's gonna finish that off, so I think we have to go in on the right side here. Yeah, he doesn't have enough to play rocket, I'm pretty sure. He should be low on elixir. Yeah, there's the rocket. He comes out late. Dude, how are we actually still in this game though? It's kind of funny considering he has so much damage in single. I thought it was a good game already. It's still not looking good for us though, because he has a 3 card cycle. And this matchup gets slowly worse the more the, the game goes on. Like in triple, it just gets like so bad, because they can rocket you and not get punished at all. They'll just rocket and like play stuff on your expo. Or even like cycle back to another rocket on it. So let's go Ice Spirit. I want to play my Ice Spirit away from our archers, because I know he's going to try to log it. And I don't want my Ice Spirit to get clipped by the log. It's like really bad. Um, so he's going to cannon. We'll go nine in front, but... Yeah, he's gonna log, he's gonna kill everything. We'll go Expo once again. Kinda have to. And then I'll do Archers on offense here. He's probably gonna cannon. Definitely will not defend this with the rocket. And we do have some pretty solid pressure right now. Maybe we can try to break through if we're lucky. So I'm gonna go Expo up high. That cannon is not gonna shoot my Expo, I don't think. Alright, nice. So we have two Expos on the map. If he defends this, I don't even know what to say. He's gonna rocket that one. And then log. Okay, so he's um, he's three cards from Rocket now. Now he's two cards from Rocket. He has to cannon this. He should be back now. Oh jeez, he's a money miner. We'll test the cannon. Do get the prediction off. He's gonna log. We'll go expo right now. Come on, man. We have two expos down. We have to break through here. Please. No, he rockets that. Damn, he defended that really well. Yeah, we lost. No. He's gonna rock it, we can only fire by log. It doesn't do that much damage, although it'd be kinda funny if we just like chilled here. We somehow lagged out. And we won by like one HP there because we were I think we were like the same HP except I had like one extra damage on his right tower, but I don't know why he's BMing. Um but I'm not gonna say anything. Cause he did play really well. I definitely got outplayed on that game. So yeah, um I guess it's gonna be nine and two. I, how do I, I'm not gonna end the video. I'm gonna keep going. I think it's worth it. We're just gotta, we just gotta go like. Dang, this is pretty, it's pretty unfortunate though that we're 9 and 2. That's like a super bad start off to the 21 challenge. But I guess somehow we gotta go God tier mode, win 11 in a row. Don't know if it's possible, but here we go, try hard mode. Archer Queen, don't know what this is gonna be. We'll have to see. Hopefully, we don't, take, don't get hard countered like any of these games because. 
that'd be pretty sad to kick us out of the challenge right away. Um, so there's a hog. Queen is not getting hits on tower. I think this is gonna be the giant skeleton, like, hog deck. Or sometimes they even run, like, Dalvin Okay, like, he's gonna do that. I'm gonna expo, and then I'm gonna ice burn in front, because he's gonna cannon that. Since these decks, like, always run cannon. Um, and it's gonna target on the giant skeleton, which is fine. Like, I wasn't really caring about getting an expo log. I kind of just want him to, like, spend some elixir over there. And then we'll Tesla if he does go for the hog. Okay, fire spirits on our expo. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, giant skeleton's dead, and we're in an early damage lead. Go Tesla for this hog here. Sometimes I'll, I like to Tesla, like, all the way to the side. Because it sometimes baits out, like, an EQ or a fireball or something. Especially early in the match, when they, they don't know what you're playing yet. They hog first play, like, I'll just Tesla... And like, pretend like I played it bad, so they'll use a spell on it. Then I'll take the one hog hit and just like use the elixir advantage to go in. Just like something I like to do sometimes. Um, do the giant skelly. Alright, we'll split archer in the middle and then just log here. Should be all set. Hopefully he doesn't use the ability on the queen. Yeah, nice. So, fireball log ice spirit does kill a queen. That's a good interaction to know. It's also why electric spirit is probably better in matchups against Archer Queen because it's really easy to get the the Electric Spirit to like chain onto it. Right, I'm gonna go offensive. He's gonna have enough for cannon, but he doesn't have enough to play anything else after that. So even though the cannon will lock on the expo and get a few hits on it, I think this is worth it. Because if you notice his deck, it doesn't have a mini tank like a knight or like an ice golem or something. All it has is the cannon and the giant skeleton as like the main tanks for the uh, like for the expo. And he didn't have Hog Encyclopedia like, because he used it on offense. So I knew that he wouldn't have enough elixir for giant skeleton because he just like committed so much on the EQ and then even though he'd have enough for cannon I could just archer's leap and then it ended up working out for us pretty well since we're gonna have a huge damage lead and should set us up to win this game pretty easily from now on um he's gonna EQ for some reason I don't know why he's spell cycling because he kind of has to try to like out cycle me somehow and win that way since he can't win by just, like earthquake logging Especially after the Earthquake got like that huge damage nerf. And it actually does a lot less than Fireball. So I'm gonna go Offensive Expo. And see what he does to defend it. Alright, Don Skelly will Knight the Bridge. And then just Tesla. Actually, I'm not gonna Tesla. I want to save it for his Hog. He's gonna do some stupid play like Archer Queen on top of it. Just to snipe it. And then go Hog. So I'm just gonna like save it for now. So we're pre-playing the Pi. Didn't really have another play there. There's the queen, we'll go expo. He whiffed the log, so he doesn't hit my expo, which is nice. And do I archer? He's gonna like, probably EQ log it, so. They wanna archer this right away. So we'll ice spirit the queen. And yeah, so I think we're gonna be able to win this now. Like, just like, by spell cycling. And we don't even really need a spell cycle. We just gotta defend and not let his hog connect. I don't know why he tried to prediction like, log my Tesla. It's not like that's gonna accomplish a whole lot for him. But I'm not gonna question his plays. Let's go arches for his giant skelly. Queen's dead. Plays it really low. So my arches are gonna like do a lot of work. So we'll go log. He has a can in the middle. Alright, looks like he's gonna give up. So yeah, really clean match there. He's gonna get a little worried because this is definitely not like an easy matchup. Especially against a good player. Because they do have like the giant skeleton and the earthquake, which can be pretty difficult if you are the expo player. It looks like we're gonna be facing this dude ban i've not faced the guy in ladder before so i know he's a good player but i do not remember what he uses and i almost thought at first this was like banna the golem player a lot of you guys like might follow him on youtube but i don't think it's him so we'll just have to wait and see i'm gonna ice bear at the bridge see what he does go archers in the back and okay ice wizard Ooh, I really hope this is going to be a graveyard. You know, at the beginning, I was like, you know what, I want some bad matchups. Just a few bad matchups so that I can say I didn't get carried by matchups in this in this 21 challenge. But at this point, like, one bad matchup in the next 10 games will just, like, ruin everything. So I'm kind of hoping not to get bad matchups now. Um, I just need Inferno Dragon in the back. I'm going to go Knight and Lumberjack Balloon, I think. So not, like... Not the worst matchup, I'll have to say. This is a... I'll take this matchup any day. He's gonna Valk. Wait, is this like Graveyard? It could be Graveyard. 
Oh yeah, he's the ice wizard, so it's definitely gonna be graveyard. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be a balloon for a sec. Probably just cause like the bowler and the infernal drag. It's like a lot of similar cards. So I'm gonna fireball, try to hit both of them. If I wasn't really slow, then I could have like fireballed earlier and probably got a lot more damage on my expo, but you know, I guess I'm getting old and my reaction time is slow or something. Alright, 1699, not bad. So we pretty much won this game already. Uh, if he had a lot of damage in single against Graveyard, then there's not that much they can do. So I'm gonna go Tesla up high. I highly doubt he goes in here, but it's like my Tesla a bit closer to the eye drag. And then if he just spams this on the right, I could just like pull his valve with my knight into my Tesla. But he's gonna do it in the back. So I'm gonna go with my knight and then just set up with a defensive expo. He's gonna baby dragon in the back. So the thing is, like, he can't really freeze, or else my expo is gonna kill the skeletons, because he obviously can't freeze, like, my archers and the expo. So yeah, I just can log, and then my expo is gonna clean up, like, all those remaining skellies. I wanna wait till I have, like, enough to Tesla to support this expo. Should be able to kill his bowler pretty fast, and... Yep, okay, he actually gets the Valk down. I'm gonna fireball it, because I know he's low on elixir, so it's kind of a good fireball. Then we can log his ice whiz down. Ooh, he does get the freeze though. So I'm gonna ice spirit and hopefully we get a, a few chip shots. Alright, not bad. I'm gonna go expo again. Oh, we tried to predict it with the inferno dragon, but we're pretty fast, I guess, there. Get our skeleton down. Tesla does shoot the eye drag. He does not have freeze in cycle, so that is gonna be a good game. Solid matchup, graveyard freeze. I mean, to be honest, I would rather face graveyard freeze than like splash yard poison. Um, both are good matchups, but I think the freeze just like doesn't really get them too much value and they don't have a big spell to like kill my expo or anything to like kill my archer right away, so... Oh man, don't tell me you were against 2.6 again though. That is not gonna be fun. I'm kinda sick of that matchup. Faced it too many times. Please, Shadow, don't do this to me. Okay, so it goes Golden Knight. Alright, um, actually, I changed my mind. I'll take 2.6 over any Golden Knight deck. Because the Golden Knight is kind of busted against Expo. Alright, um, he's gonna pump. Oh, it's 3 um. Alright, no, no, this is not bad. I can win this. This is a bad and even matchup, I would say. Because, just because of the Golden Knight. Hey, if they don't have a Golden Knight, then Expo probably has, like, a hard counter against 3 Musketeers. But that one card just makes this matchup, like, so difficult. Because if you, like, do one wrong play, they click that one elixir button, and it shreds through your entire defense. And then you're just like done for. So you just have to watch out for the Golden Knight so much in this matchup. And okay, dude, that's annoying. That Musketeer is getting so much damage on the right. You gotta be kidding me. Um, I, mean, I don't really care about taking damage in single. I think I might have said this earlier, but you're gonna take damage in single all the time in this matchup. And you can't really, you just gotta let it go, you know. Just let it go. You're gonna get the damage back in double elixir. And also the good thing is that I can like take a lot of damage on the left side to help me get like an elixir advantage later on since I don't really care if the damage is split in this matchup. That's like probably a good thing. So I'm gonna go archers on this golden knight. I didn't want to archers until he used the ability because they were just get they gonna get shredded by the golden knight, so yeah, I gotta wait till he used the ability. And we'll try to like okay, I'll whiff the skellies, but I'm gonna do the skeleton so that like the ghost takes three shots to kill it. Then, if you perfectly surround it with the skeleton, then the ghost only gets one hit on the tower. Or maybe it even fully counters, but I'm not 100% sure. I kind of felt it there. Still managed to make it tank two shots. See, so yeah, I'm going expo. I wasn't trying to predict the mirrored pump, but I was trying to predict the three musketeers in the back. But I think he went for that um, mirrored elixir collector. He does fail the prediction, Barbara, on my skeletons, which is nice and... I guess I'll cycle my Tesla for the E-Barb. Don't really want to waste my Knight. Alright, he goes Pump. We'll Fireball that. I'm gonna take that Fireball and see what he does. Like right, Golden Knight. Set up with a Defensive Expo now. There's only 20 seconds left though. Dude, what is he doing? He can't like... He doesn't have enough time for those Musketeers to like walk up. Because they're like so slow. So I'm, I'm just gonna like troll him and like place off on his side of the map. Because it's funny. Alright, I'm gonna fireball all four of those musketeers and start playing stuff like on his side. So all this stuff's like gonna clump up. The ice spear at the middle, archers the pocket, let's go. Pull all this stuff. 
Oh yeah, GG. Three Musketeers. Solid matchup, solid win. He's kind of salty though, he's giving us the, the Princess Yawn emote. That is a pretty toxic emote. Alright, here we go, 12 and 2. Uh, still not as confident as I was when we were only at one loss, but... You know, miracles happen. I just gotta pull like, 8 wins in a row. I mean, not, not too difficult, you know? Okay, this can be difficult, but... Yeah, we're gonna try our best. Um, he's gonna go drill. Dude, this matchup actually aids. He's gonna have the Candy Card Golden Knight. Probably. Bro, you're, you're kidding me. What is he doing? You, you just spam the Golden Knight and use the ability right away. These players don't have a brain, but he has such like a hard counter. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Man, this is like the type of matchup that I just never want to run into. Just like Golden Knight, Goblin Drill stuff. I'm gonna go Expo. He probably has a giant skeleton with my luck. Yep, yeah, there's the giant skelly. Oh man, he's gonna go ghost. The thing is, I love when they go ghost and they think it's like a really smart play because you, you just use your knight. Obviously knight's like your best counter to ghost in the deck, but they don't realize that you could just split archers and it does the same thing. It's gonna fully finish off the ghost for three elixir. And sometimes they like just don't expect it and like keep doing that play. The ghost on the opposite lane. And I think one archer like, might even survive that interaction. Alright, let's go Tesla like this. Alright, we perfectly lined it up with the drill, so that means I don't need to log. Dude, what was that marcher? Wait, he might have choked the game. Did he just choke the game? I'm gonna get a lock here. He does not have enough for Golden Knight. Let's go, we got the lock. Oh my gosh. Like, I gotta wait for him to Golden Knight and then just, like, defend it after he used the ability. So, okay, Barbro. Alright, we gotta go with Skeletons right now and then Ice Spirit. We gotta kill the Golden Knight. That's a lot of damage on his tower. Okay, that yeah, that's some nice damage. We just have to make sure to defend now. It's gonna be kind of difficult to- Yep, there's there's the ghost play. He went ghost at like zero. Thinking like, oh, he doesn't have his knight in cycle. We're gonna get some nice damage here. But nope. Alright, let's go with a- Do we get offensive expo? I think it's probably better. Since it's gonna kill his tower. And it's also gonna act as a defensive expo. In this defense. Because it's gonna just like target his giant skeleton. And let's see, I gotta- Should I fireball that? I don't really need to save it for the Magic Archer. Oh, especially when he plays it like that. I can knight directly on top of it. Which he probably didn't expect. And then we just have to defend his drill here. Alright, yeah, this is looking good. And archers and log. Um, we'll go ahead and knight as well. And then I'll try to fireball his marcher. He probably won't play it, but... Yep, yeah, he didn't even play it. Yeah, I think he's gonna give up. Most likely. Because he's still not doing anything. No Tesla... I can go archers, ice spirits, skeletons. Let's go, let's go. Take his tower, please. Just for my sanity. I need to take the tower of this drill player. Rip. Okay, we don't take the tower. No, that's fine. At least we got the W. That's all that really matters in the end. So let's see here. Alright, we are 13 and 2 now, so not bad. I mean, still looking not too good for us because we do have the two losses, but just gonna keep moving on and hoping for the best against uh ankulator 2.0 from twitch bc e f r 29 all these random clan names ah oh, fisherman's the back this is rg bro i'm getting the most like annoying matchups you can ask for it's actually crazy so he's gonna go dark prince in the back i'm gonna knight and this is always a five minute game so just like just gonna chill here, play some defense for five minutes, and you know, just gotta play flawlessly and rinse and repeat the same defense a hundred times. Basically, how this uh, how this goes. So I'm gonna ice spirit that cursed royal hog. So I'm gonna get one hit on tower. Um, not a big deal. Cycle like log on the left side. I'm gonna knight the e spirit. I could have went for the king tower activation, but I don't think he has a giant skeleton in his deck, so. It's not really that worth it to get the King Tower activated against like the non-giant skeleton variant. Um, but I mean, I guess I could have. Things I'd rather not take the damage from the Electric Spirit just to get the King Tower activa activation, which probably like won't even matter too much in the match. Um, since he's playing RG and it like shoots from very far away from the King Tower, so it's like it's not really gonna do anything. It was activated. Um, I'm gonna go Knight for his Mother Witch. 
don't need to play anything else in the Dark Prince since my Tesla should be able to do its thing. And he's like on my log, he has to get to log on defense too. Which is actually good because that means he can't get that extra tower damage. And pretty much all damage in this matchup is really important. Since if both players play perfectly, then no one should be able to break through with their win condition. Yeah, I shouldn't be able to get an expo lock, he shouldn't be able to get an RG hit. It's basically about who spell cycles the earliest and who spell cycles not at the right times. So let's go with the knight for his fisherman. And Mother Witch dies, nice. See, I don't know why he's going RG here. I mean, if I were Betfist, I would probably have gone Expo. Like, right when he RG, I would have gone Expo opposite and then gone my archers or something. That's like a Betfist play, which probably would have worked and gotten me a nice lock. Because even though he would have taken a bunch of damage from his RG, um, it'd only be like three shots and we'd probably get a really nice Expo lock. So I'm just gonna go Tesla on top of here. He's probably not gonna like do too much. He's gonna kill his RG. I probably could have waited and just like played the Tesla in the middle, in the middle, but no, it does the same thing. Just want to kill the RG as soon as possible. So it's like our, our log on the left side here. I'm gonna set it for the defense now. He's gonna mother witch the middle. Let's go Archer's Ice Spirit and I always want to be cycling our logs so we can get tower damage on the side that we're going for. Uh, for our pony here, he's gonna start like logging on the left side because I think he knows that we're going the same lane. And it's probably better for the RG player if they are going in the same lane. So he's just gonna start like spell cycling on the left side. I think that's what he's trying to do. Okay, nice. Uh, Tesla finishes off the Mother Witch. That's really good. We'll go the Knight in the back now. And it's really triple elixir where things start to get crazy. He's probably gonna go for one really massive RG push, starting it in the back. And we just have to defend that one push to win the game. Um, but it's gonna be pretty difficult, you know? Then like two RGs at the bridge. So I'm gonna go fireball now. I'm trying to bait him into fireballing too, so I can just go the defensive expo. I mean, I'm gonna play it anyways, but kind of don't want him to get value against it. And I'm cycling my skeletons at the bridge because I just I need to cycle them to get them out of my hand. But I also don't want to give him any mother witch value. Oh man, yes he, he has the lightning. I didn't know he was gonna be the lightning version, which actually makes things a lot more difficult. So. I'm gonna start spell cycling a bit more aggressive now, just so we can manage to stay up in damage since of course lightning log does do more damage than fireball log. So I do have to spell cycle like as early as possible. Um but yeah, let's try to defend now. I think I got enough fireball damage for the time being. He's gonna lightning my expo. We'll go get that one curse roll hogs. Hopefully he didn't get too much damage. I should have went skeletons, it would have prevented a few hits, but it's whatever. We'll go Tesla and then I'm just gonna block the bridge here. You know, Archer, Skeletons, and Log. He went Mother Witch, but I'm not going to Fireball it, because I think I need to save my Fireball for the tower. Because I need to be able to get two more down in 15 seconds. If I went Fireball on the Mother Witch, I'd only have time to get one more down. So let's go with an Ice Spirit, and then we'll throw a Fireball down. There's no shot Lightning does that much. There's no shot. I'm not ruining my 21 challenge, because the Lightning does so much damage. There we go. Alright, that was a close match. Okay, I gotta take a breather after that. 73 HP. Actually, Log doesn't even do that much damage at tournament standard, so it wasn't as close as I thought. He did have the Log coming down, but there we go. 14 and 2. So, 6 more wins. Hopefully, we can do it. My confidence is slowly rising. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the video. I think we're like an hour in at this point. So, yeah. Gonna be one of my longest videos yet. So, I'm gonna go Archers the back here. Alright, it's gonna go defensive mortar. I don't know what variant of mortar this is gonna be, but hopefully it does not have a cannon cart. Cause that would make it really difficult. If he just has like the mortar bait version or something, then it might be better. But um Alright guys, we're gonna pretend that was 1000 percent calculated. Definitely knew he had a magic archer in his deck, in this random mortar deck. That he'd have a magic archer. And we can predict it at the bridge. Um, definitely wasn't just like cycling my Tesla there for no reason. Um, yeah, so he's gonna scar me. Probably has to. Oh, I thought he was gonna mortar. He probably didn't have it in cycle, but there's this Skelly King. I'm gonna log here and should be able to get my Expo some damage. I actually would much rather they have poison than fireball. Since the poison doesn't. It doesn't kill my, your archers like immediately. And it doesn't like uh, get a bunch of damage in your Expo immediately. So you can often get like those extra chip shots at the end. 
while the poison is like still like chipping away at your expo. So that's why I like poison a lot more than fireball. Um or I like facing it a lot more. So let's go offensive right now since he doesn't have like the skeleton king in cycle right away at least. So let's see what he does. I'm gonna go knight and he's gonna minor Okay, he's gonna minor bats. Alright, that was just well defended on his end. Oh man, he's gonna skeleton king. Um, well, this is awkward. I have to Tesla really early because I don't want him to think I'm down that much elixir when I, in reality I am. And because if he used the ability there, like really early, then it would have been like awkward for me because I didn't have enough to Tesla like and log uh, right away. So this is gonna be tough going into like double and triple because he can just like place mortars on defense and then poison log my expos, kind of like cycle miners for chip damage. Uh, we'll go knight in the middle. And I'm gonna fireball his mortar and hit the tower as well. Just wanna get that extra ship damage and we'll go Tesla for his marcher. It's also gonna help like, against the skeleton king. So this should be pretty good value. We're gonna log the ability. And he's getting some nice minor chip. Or I guess not nice minor chip because I don't want that. It's bad. You don't wanna take a, a lot of damage in this matchup from his miners. Um, so I'm gonna go expo right now. It's a good play to expo opposite when they play their mortars. Since with that one archer is pretty much gonna like tank three shots from his mortar. And oh wow, I'm gonna log this. He actually played a, a bunch of stuff there that I could log. So let's go knight right now. Hopefully all these skeletons die so I can Actually I'm gonna maybe go expose on the the right side. What I have to do is I have to get him to spend a lot of elixir on one side. Then I have to get back to another expo on the other side. And that's how we have to try to win this. So I'm gonna go skeletons. I'm gonna knight the marcher. It's gonna get scary if my archers don't clutch up on this defense. Be, be smart archers. Okay, they kind of did their thing. Oh, not bad. I mean, damage is kind of even, which is okay, I guess. The only issue is we can't really expo on that offense because either way, he's gonna get poison damage on like the tower that he's like going for. Since he's like going for both lanes pretty much. At this point, since the tower damage is essentially even. So I'm gonna go archers to the back. Yeah, we don't go for any more offensive expos here, I don't think. Unless he gets like a a lot of damage on one side, then I probably will. Just to bait out another poison. But okay, I'm gonna expo now. He didn't poison like I don't know if that was the best poison, so I'm gonna expo. Now we're just gonna log this side and I'm gonna Okay, that was bad archers. Thought the skeleton king thing would die. I just wanted to try to snipe his mortar down, but I don't think it's gonna really work out. Okay, that was a bad magic archer. Oh god, what do we do here? I'm gonna log this. I don't want it to really clip my tower. So I'm gonna go archers up high. And we'll cycle our Tesla. I'm gonna go expo here, because I need to bait off his poison on my strong side tower. I can't let him, like, modern poison on the left. Wait, why is he? I don't know why he played mortar right there, because I can fireball his low side tower. I think that might have lost him the game. I'm gonna go expo right now, since he just uses poison. And I just wanted to be able to... I wanted to have to defend this, and then I need to save my Ice Spirit Knight for his Miner. So we can do that, and Fireball his tower. All you gotta do now is get my log down for the Skelly King ability. And Magic Archer will not connect. Let's go. Nice. That's gonna be a good game. Alright, okay, I'm actually, I'm actually like sweating now. Not actually, but you know what I mean? Like, these are getting really intense games. And we are actually getting somewhat close to the 20 wins. Um, let's see where we're at right now. Um, we are 15 and 2. Wow. All right, five more games. Um, I guess it's doable at this point. Like, I'm only five games away. We're gonna take it one game at a time, and just see where it goes. So, I'll really get my hopes up when we get to like 17 wins or so, because that's when like the end is is really in sight. So there's the lava hound. All right, we'll cycle our Tesla here. And I'm just gonna ignite in front because he probably has skelly drags. Yeah, I kinda knew he'd play something there. And I can fireball those. Alright, yeah, he's drained on elixir. He doesn't have anything else to support this. So we should be fine on the defense. The lava pubs die. Um yeah, we're good. Alright, this is a free win. We should be able to win this. I've never lost this matchup in like a really long time. Unless I somehow screwed up extremely badly. Like there's no way I lose this matchup. Especially because he has the Mighty Miner variant, and it doesn't get like any value for him. I have my skeleton, so if he tried to Mighty Miner my expo, 
then I just like skeleton archers it and it doesn't do anything. So he's gonna balloon. I was only going expo because I just wanted to defend it with something and not be able to go in with the lava hound. That was pretty much the goal there. So I'm gonna go knight in front because I wanna cycle back to my archers. And I knew that to like play something like that, the Ice Spirit's gonna help out against the Mighty Miner. And also by playing my Knight in front, as I said, he's gonna put me one card closer to my Archers. So that if he does Lava Hound, then I'll be able to Archers right away. Nice, so I wouldn't have to like play a, a couple cards just to get back to them. So that was a good Knight because it fixed my cycle. And I'm gonna try to do the thing that I was telling you guys about earlier, where I can... Um, if he does like go balloon on the right then i'd be able to tesla and be able to pull it all the way to the side to my expo but i think he doesn't have enough to balloon anyways right now and he decides not to so i guess like the only threatening part of their deck is the balloon so that's like the only thing that can actually get a lot of damage quickly so if he doesn't balloon on his pushes then like i'm fine with that it's not gonna really go anywhere let's try to log his tombstone all right i don't know why he didn't tombstone I guess he he predicted my prediction log and he's like nope we're just gonna oh man i just like whipped that tesla so hard yeah that was such a big fat finger on the tesla gonna fireball that balloon into it loki i was kind of nervous there with that fireball because after the fireball nerf i didn't know if that was even gonna work anymore that trick where you can fireball the balloon like into your tesla but luckily it does work there we're gonna pretend that mistake actually helped us out there and because the Tesla didn't target on the Hound, which meant I could fireball the balloon into it. And I would target that. While my archers like DPS his hound down. So there we go. Lava Hound, as I said, a very easy matchup. Especially if they don't have arrows in the deck. Then like they don't have a great way to kill your archers. You can just cycle multiple sets of them. So he's gonna give us the bowler emote. Alright guys, so we are 16 and 2 now. Let's go. Keep going in the games here. I don't think I've like cut in a while so we're just gonna try to go all the way through to 20 wins right now we're gonna do this all right archer's the back he has skeletons so he's gonna be a cycle player which means he probably has some idea of what he's doing since cycle players are generally like i don't say more skilled because there are some very skilled beatdown players but okay, he has bats wait what is this hog earthquake he has skeletons and bats i don't know what deck runs that Oh no, he has, um, do I know what he has? He has, like, Mega Knight. He has Mega Knight, uh, RG. Maybe he doesn't have the RG, but... Oh wait, he has Wallbreakers. Hmm. I'm kind of unsure now. I still think these decks usually run Mega Knight cause, because of the bats. But, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, like, some, like, mirror bait deck. Or something crazy like that. So I'm gonna go Expo just to test the waters. See what he does to it. Oh wait, what? Oh, he's playing. I know what he's playing. He has the 2.0 minor cycle. I think he's trying to do like. Maybe CWA did like an impossible challenge or something. Because this deck is not actually a good deck. It's just like a 2.0 minor cycle. Okay, so. Yeah, this should be very easy for me. Once double elixir hits. Because single can be kind of tough. Like, you gotta be careful. You low key gotta be like very careful in this type of matchup in single. Because if they get like a lot of damage, it can be like difficult to come back. But once double elixir hits, he's done for. All I have to do is get one expo lock, and he just can't defend eventually. Because he does not have a big spell in the deck. And there's only so many like ice golems he can cycle, and like cannons he can cycle to like help stall my expos. Hopefully the ice spirit does something. Okay, I probably didn't need the knight there, but you know, it's whatever. We can probably expo off it anyways. So... He cycles his log. I'm gonna go archers the back. I'm gonna hold off my expo for now. Because I want to try to get two on the map. And then go in. Then we're just gonna totally obliterate this guy's career. Um, okay, he's gonna try to go aggressive now. I guess. Wait, he wouldn't minor log on top of my expo. I mean, that's one way to play it, I guess. I mean, I guess I'd rather him do that than get some minor damage on my tower. But let's go offensive expo now. Try to get some damage. Now that we are in double. We have a knight counter pushing. Go archers and then log the dark goblin. Go to ice bear behind for the expo. Let's go knight in front. Archers kill the cannon. And yeah, that's the lock I was talking about. There we go. He knows it's over. He's giving us the the king laugh emote. The god tier emote. 
All right, let's log this, and yeah, we have so much damage. This is over. He can do nothing except sit there and spam emotes now, because he got outplayed by the expo god tier plays. All right, let's just go with archers. Actually, do I fireball now? I think he's risky to spell cycle. I'm just gonna kind of chill for a bit. Just watch this guy suffer. Like, I would quit if I were him. Oh, he actually let our expo lock, so it's gonna put him out of his suffering faster than I first thought. Um, oh no, bro is still trying. My man. Gotta respect the the fact that he's still trying to win though. When he has like such a a bad matchup and I had so much damage in his tower. <laughs> he's giving it the good luck. They, I think like a lot of people say good luck and they what they actually mean is you got lucky. It's like the synonym for like good luck, even though that's not really what it's like, supposed to mean. Probably, but yeah, I think we got lucky. We probably did because it's a good matchup for us. And let's see, 17 and 2. Alright, three more games. Let's see if we can do this. Don't take too long to find a game, please. I'm kind of on a nice streak of not having to like cut any search times. Alright, there we go. Alright, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Um he's from No Clan. Okay. So I don't want to cycle anything right away because we don't have like a cheap card. But like if he doesn't do anything, I guess I can just knight. But I usually wait like a few seconds if I don't have, you know, log skeletons, ice spirit, or something like that. So there's the archer queen. We'll fireball that. Get the free tower damage. And see what he does. All right, now he's gonna kill the queen. Hmm, he has mega knight. Oh no, this is the mega knight rare matter deck. This is a tough matchup. I'm gonna ice spirit. Okay, this is we might lose here unless we somehow defend. Please. Okay, Magnet does not jump. Knight, kill Bandit, please. Ooh, that was actually a flawless defense. And yep, there's the ghost thing. They always think they can get that sneaky ghost in, but Archer's coming clutch on defense. A very important interaction to know. Just gotta split the Archers early enough so that one will go off to the side. Fully counters the ghost. This matchup is very difficult because he has Rare Matter and Lightning. And overall, it's just like, it's kind of hard to break through. You gotta get like an early expo lock, I feel like, to win. But especially in like triple elixir, they can build up massive pushes. So you gotta play flawlessly, or you're not gonna be able to win. It's one of those matchups where you just can't make mistakes. So I'm gonna go expo right now. I'm going expo because... Wait, what? Okay, he's gonna ram out of that. Whatever, but... Wait, do we get a lock right now? I think the queen's invisible, so... Nice, we got the expo lock. Alright, yeah, so like, if they ever cycle their Archer Queen in this matchup, you can expo opposite lane. Just because we an E-Spirit, let's go Skeleton to Pi. Okay, yeah, we defend. And you have to deal with the Archers as well. Now we can just Knight on top of the Ghost. We have a perfect cycle for this defense. Yep, we can just Knight the Ghost now. If they ever cycle their Queen in the back, it's the same like idea of if they cycle like a 4 Elixir card, uh, if you're against Golem. If they cycle their Queen in single Elixir, they don't have enough for Mega Knight. So you want to expo opposite immediately because one or two things happen. Either you get the expo lock or the expo kills the queen. So either way, that's like a it's a good case. It's a good interaction. Expo will like just kill their archer queen. Maybe force them to use the ability like really early before it crosses the bridge. I think that's what happened there. Okay, he's kind of lightning, but he like whiffs the lightning because of my ice spirit. My goaded ice spirit. Um comes in clutch there and freezes the ram rider so the tesla won't pop up we go defensive expo that was a good queen on his end that was actually a smart queen um i don't know if he like knew i was gonna defensive expo but i have to like totally soak my knight which is not ideal because knight's pretty important in this matchup so i wouldn't be surprised if he spams it and mk at the bridge all right he's not gonna do that that's fine we'll go skeletons around the ghost he's gonna ram in the back Let's test that. I don't want to knight the bandit to protect my expo. Only because I want to save my knight for like on this defense over here. I'm more concerned about the left side right now. So I'm going to snipe the queen. Or at least just make him waste the ability. It's better if they use the ability on their side of the map. As opposed to being able to like use it on your side of the map. And risk it locking on the tower. So there's the bandit. We'll go defensive expo just to kill that. And I'm going to try to ice spirit. Time it so that it... Makes this the bandit one dash. Okay, that was, yeah, that was a horrible interaction on my end, but 
No, it's fine. I'll go knight the bridge. I want the ram to go in front. That's why I wanted to block the bridge. Then we keep going Tesla up high in the anti lightning spot, which is like one tile from the river. That way he can't clip my Tesla and the tower with his lightning. So he can get like um like a bunch of damage from it. So let's go with skeletons around the ghost. That time I did do it correctly, so it takes three shots to kill it. And he's gonna ban it, let's go Ice Spirit down low. I wanna save my knight for the left side. I think what we do here is we cycle two knights. That's how we're gonna have to play this. This is gonna be really important to get another knight down for like his MK. Yeah, let's go with the knight. Tesla up high. Ooh, he actually predicted that Tesla. So I don't think it's really gonna allow me to get any damage though. Aside from the lightning damage. So let's go knight and archers. We'll go log. He's a ram rider. We have our Tesla back in hand. Do not even take any queen shots, which is nice. We're gonna go ice spirit. Yeah, he knows it's over. Let's go, dude. Ooh, I actually played that so well. Um, yeah, that's like the epitome of like how you want to play that matchup. Well, it's also not easy to win either with 3.0 Expo. Dang, I can't believe we won that. All right, hmm. 18 and two. So let's keep going on. See if we can get two more wins. It's gonna be difficult because. All right, so this is basically the part where it gets like the hardest because you're in the last two games, everybody's sweating. Oh, we gotta open this chest though. I don't really care what I get since mine. I don't have a max account, but I can only play one deck on ladder, so I really don't care what my card levels are. But I guess we'll we'll just pick stuff for the heck of it. Um, lumberjack ghost. We'll go lumberjack, I guess. And yeah, we'll go baby drag. Ooh, let's see what champion we get. I'm gonna have them all maxed out, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's go Archer Queen because Archer Queen's goaded. All right, let's see, eighteen and two. Let's go. Um, okay, we actually find a game right away. Facing M I R Mir, and but he have a good badge. I actually didn't even look at what his badges were. I thought he had like a, a good one out of the corner of my eye. You have to rewind to see. Okay, he's gonna Dark Gob. We'll log that. Don't be the Mighty Miner bait deck. I hate facing that honestly. I don't think I've like ever won that matchup. Like I actually have, but it's been a while because I'm really bad at facing it. Wait, what is minions? Oh, that's weird. Who is minions? Goblin Barrel on the same deck. This has to be a Mega Knight deck. This has to be a Mega Knight bait deck. That's the only thing it can be with the minions. Yep. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. The only upside to these types of decks is that they usually don't run any spells. Like not even a small spell. Sometimes they'll run a snowball or a zap, but at the very least, these decks do not do not have rocket, ever. So I do have like a chance of just like defending the whole game. What is that interaction? What is that interaction? Oh my gosh. Wow, I think... Dude, is that knight placement just ruined my entire video? I don't even know what to say, man, because... Oh, uh, he's gonna barrel with this. Hopefully he does not. That would be convenient for me. Alright, looks like he's not gonna barrel. White Spirit high. How did that princess not target my knight though? That's actually nuts. So, yeah, I got off to an early damage lead. Yeah, I'm waiting for the barrel so I can just like fireball it. And I don't think his prince is back, so we don't have to worry about that for a while. Um, so going to double now. How do I want to play this matchup? And I think because he doesn't have a big spell, we just have to try to play Clash of Clans. The Clash of Clans have a matchup like this where they can't like really kill your defensive expos. So you have to protect them with your life and then try to cycle to another offensive expo. I think that's the strat here. So I'm gonna go Tesla so we can snipe the princess. Just wanna get it off the map. Pretty annoying to deal with. Because I can't really fireball it. He has the minions that I'd rather fireball. And I can't log it because he has the barrel. I'm not gonna log this because I'm gonna defend it with just skeletons. Since I knew my Axe would target it and my Tesla would hit the outside goblin. And then even if that wasn't the case, like I still want to save my log for offense anyways. Because it does get a lot more value. If he has a mirror, I'm going to punch my screen. Oh my god. He has the mirror Mega Knight. That is rough. Hopefully my Axe locks here. Okay, we got the Axe lock. Let's go. He does not have a zap in the deck. He would have played it by now. Um, can we win archers down low for this? I'm gonna Ice Spirit. Don't jump on the Mega Knight, please. Okay, he's gonna Princess. 
I'm gonna go knight. We do take some damage, but overall we do come out on top there. Getting his tower down to 1575 HP. Oh man, he's gonna magnate the bridge. Please don't. Okay, it's gonna barrel. Would we'll log this. Did I miss the log? I'm actually so bad at like timing the barrels. Oh, he actually outplayed me there. <laughs> oh, that's a good barrel placement. If you know they have firebone tickle, you wanna go barrel like a tile in the front or two tiles in the front. As Riley calls it, like the giant graveyard placement. Well, it looks like I managed to miss my fireball, so that was my bad, and it might lose me the game. Hopefully, it doesn't, but we'll know shortly. So, I spirit a pie here, get a fireball on defense, hit the minions, the prince, the Ma Mega Knight. Um, God, I can't even speak right now. And I think we're dead. I'm gonna archer this. Yeah, we're done for. Wait, he played balls in the front, though, so it's not gonna be tower down yet. Okay, the goblins get so much damage. Bro, it takes my tower three shots to kill one goblin. That's just... Uh, that's gonna be the death of me. He's gonna keep going mirror barrel, and I can't, like, fireball his minions, because then he's gonna mirror the barrel, and I don't have anything for it. So, okay, I have to win it off this one expo. Please, I, I just need this 19 win so I can have the opportunity to go for the 20. I need a winner right here. We have one last opportunity to spam him on offense. And I just need to get an expo law because at this point, like, he has so much HP in his tower. Like, I can't spell cycle. I need a lock to win. I'm gonna do a Tesla to get some more DPS on the map. But yeah, he has the mirror, so I don't think we can do much. Wow. I'm gonna go knight and in front. And I think I'm just gonna skeleton with an expo on this side. Wait! No, the skeletons made the prince jump over the bridge and my expo locked. That actually just happened. Okay, I'm gonna go archers and I'm gonna log. Hold on, there, okay, there's 10 seconds. Wait, is my archer lock? Dude, he lets it lock. Okay, wait, the level 13 the goblin better not take my tower. Ooh, 72 HP. Please, fireball, get down. Please, please, I need this. I need this. Get down. Let's go. Okay. 72 HP. That was such a clutch game. Wow. Dude, I'm uploading this anyways. Like, even if I lose this game, I'm still gonna upload this video because we've had some very insane matches. Whew, okay, 19 and 2. One more game. I cannot have this 19 badge on my profile. I need this 20 wins. Please give it to me. Just like a decent matchup. Just like a decent matchup. Alright, baby fan. This guy, I think he usually plays like bridge mount decks. I know he has a Twitch. He's probably streaming right now. Uh, he's not like a huge Twitch streamer, but I have like stopped by his stream sometimes. Okay, he has Tombstone. So... Okay, beat Graveyard or Lava Hound. Any one of those I'm fine with. Okay, yes, yeah, Skeleton King. Looking promising that it might be Graveyard. The one thing I don't want to be is RG. If it's RG, I'm gonna be really mad. Ooh, okay, that's uh, that's not good. That is not good at all. This is the one deck with Skeleton King Tombstone that I did not want it to be. It was Royal Giant. And he probably has the Lightning version, just with my luck. Because that's like the hardest version to face. Lightning Skeleton thinking Tombstone. That's like the hardest RG RG deck if you're using Expo. So I gotta pray at this point that he does not have a Lightning. If he does, then I'm pretty much screwed unless he somehow messes up. Or we just like play flawlessly the whole game. And don't let any RG get to get a shot. And somehow like out damage him with our fireballs. But, yeah, I'm just waiting to see what spell he has. If he has a fireball, I can win this, but... If he has a lightning, that makes it ten times harder. So he gets, uh, go Skeleton King in the back. I'm gonna go Tesla on defense. Right now. And hopefully he doesn't go in. I kinda like single elixir just to be, like, pretty passive. It gets kinda awkward if they start, like, spamming you. And, then, like, use the Skeleton King ability and stuff. So I'm kinda glad he's not doing that. Okay, he actually does use the ability, but... He's just baiting out my log, not really doing anything else other than that. So Tesla should kill his fisherman. I'm gonna go archers in the back. I probably should be fireballing his tombstones, but since I want archers at the same time, I'm just gonna kind of chill for now. I'm afraid to do anything that's like committing a lot of elixir, because what I don't want is for him to start spamming me with RGs. Because that one, things get a bit sketchy, and I might lose my whole tower in one push if I defend bad. Alright, we're gonna fireball that. Take that any day. Get the hunter and the skeleton king in that. Um, radius. Let's go ice spear the back. Skeleton cycle. Alright. 
so we have like uh hmm yeah i don't know what to do right now because he's gonna keep getting log damage okay yeah i needed a reason to fireball there and he just gave me a perfect reason to fireball so i'm gonna take that I'm gonna go log because he's gonna force something out that he's gonna have to play on my knight and i feel like at this point he's not gonna go rg because he still spent like a a decent amount of elixir there on the right side there's the rg yeah i don't think this is going anywhere for him i'm gonna log Hopefully he doesn't push the RG like out of the range. Okay, that was really close. Didn't know if that was gonna walk on tower, but very thankful it did not, because that would have been the end of us. So Ice Spirit is gonna bait out his E Spirit. Um, I don't think he had the opportunity to use the ability there. He's gonna fireball the tombstone this time. Since he keeps playing it like right next to his tower. Ooh, this is um if he lightnings, like prediction lightning this, then it'd be really bad. Okay, he actually does not have my Tesla with the lightning though. So I can defend this RG without taking any hits. The issue is that he's going to keep going lightning. And so I have to start going defensive expos. Just so we can try to bait out his lightnings. I'm going to archers this. I can't take that use spirit damage. And yeah, I just need to go defensive expo to try to get his lightning out of cycle. And then if he if he continues to like lightning my tower, then I just have to try to go offensive with my expos. But uh, okay, I think we have to fireball this to be honest. Just to keep us in the, the damage lead. Because if we're down damage in the triple, then he's going to lightning cycle us, and it's not going to be good. So I'm going to go Night Skeletons. I'm going to go Log here. Let's go Ice Spirit. And, okay, we're entering triple now. Triple Elixir. We're 19-2 right now. This is going to get really sketchy, but I need this win. Just, I need to get this 20 wins, please. I don't want to restart the video. Okay, I'm going to go Tesla. Um, go Ice Spirit on this Fisherman. Go Log as well. Alright, he gets the Skeleton down. I'm gonna go knight, make him waste some more elixirs, go fireball right away. I'm gonna hit the hunter and the skelly king. And can my expo please kill these skeletons? Okay, it does not. Um, we're up some damage, but he's gonna go RG for sure, so I'm gonna like predict it with the knight. I'm gonna go fireball right now, just to get some extra tower damage. You go Tesla Ice Spirit. Okay, he actually he landed my Tesla, but he did not hit the tower. If this RG gets a hit, I lose. Okay, he does not get a hit. Let's go. I think we won. I think we won. Okay, I'm gonna go Ice Spirit. And then I'm just gonna log this side. Because, actually, I, I don't really need to log that side. But yeah, he doesn't have enough time. Log does not do enough damage. Oh my gosh. We just... How did we do that? We went 9-2. and two. Okay, we got 4-1. and one. We lost uh, one game after, like, 4 matches. Then we went 9-2. and two, And then we just clutched up 11 times in a row. And somehow got the 20 wins. This is one of the most insane videos I've ever done. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe just for that. Wow, I'm so happy right now that we actually got 20 wins with one of the worst decks like in the game. 3 Burnal Expo is actually horrible in the meta, but we did it. Wow, I'm so... God, I'm so relieved that we actually... It, it's like so stressed. It's like anxious when you have like two losses for that long. So like, you know, like if... If I lose one game, I'm gonna have to like restart the whole video probably. Wow. Yeah, okay. I gotta take a break now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.